Okay, everyone, smile for your class picture. Let's jump in with our nine little monkeys, I call them. You know that song, nine little monkeys jumping on the bed, one fell off and broke his head. I have nine phalaenopsis orchids who should have died a long time ago, but they're holding on. So I thought they've not survived in much of what? I have done, I am going to switch them over to water culture. So that is what I have done. And they are going on, let's just say it, four weeks. Now, I started the experiment somewhere in November. I lost my footage that I filmed by magically deleting it. And so I'm starting again, but they are hanging on just barely. Let me introduce you to them. Number one is in the back here. Number one, they all got a drink. So if they had a root, <laughs> it would show up a little bit greener. We have pretty much death on a stick. But I'm not going to give up till she falls all the leaves off. But anyway, she got a drink. Uh, most of these were grocery store family analysis. Two of them were not. And I'll show you those in a minute. Some of them have promise. <laughs> they have little leaves growing out of the middle. And what I am learning as I watch other people on this journey, let's go on to number two. She's an encouragement. Look at that beautiful, trying all she can leaf. And I believe she has one root. We call her the one root wonder. And she got a drink and today she's just sitting just barely in water. And then with the warmness and the fans in the room, that will go down uh, by this, this afternoon or this evening, the water level. But most of what I'm learning, I'm learning from the Orchid Whisperer. She has a channel and Danielle's Orchid Ranch. She has a channel on YouTube also. And what I'm learning is as they are trying their best to grow a new leaf or to grow roots, they will suck every bit of energy they can out of those leaves where they are storing up all of that energy. And those leaves will get withered and crinkly and look like, well, you'll see them in my other plants we come across here they just wilt they look like wilted lettuce but that means they're trying and they're sucking all the energy out and you know I'm not opposed to tossing them all in the bin but it was an experiment I wanted to see can they come back to life if I tried to give them a little bit more obviously I killed them in the environment they were in they were not that happy or they were killed at the store before I even brought them home and I just didn't know that until the cold shock set in or the changing of the medium set in. So I won't take all the credit for the death here. And let's see number three in the back. We'll bring her closer. Number three, I think she lost two leaves today when I was watering her, but she actually has a root. Not that they're in the greatest of conditions, Many people would give up. And I'm, like I say, I'm not opposed to tossing them, but why not give them a shout? Give them a chance. And the leaves here are still solid. Number four. Let's bring her in. She's hiding in the back. I was, <laughs> she begged me. You ever, did you play basketball, anyone? See, I play basketball, but I was so bad at it. I pray on the bench please don't put me in coach please don't put me in please and then the whole time I was dribbling I was thinking run run dribble dribble don't trip up on your feet you know it was not like I was thinking the game and it didn't come naturally it was um it, let's just say it was not my sport 
but I tried it for a year. Well, this one here, she was yelling at me during the watering hour. Please don't put me in, Mama. Please don't. But she is getting more soft and more pliable. She doesn't have any roots. As you can see, those were old spikes. So I'm like, oh, honey, you can't give up yet. You're still sitting on the bench, but I'm not giving up on you yet. All right, coming in at number five. She has shiny leaves. They're growing well. They're still solid. There's one underneath that's hanging. Let's check out her roots. Aha! She's my faithful one. She takes a good solid drink and nourishes herself. And I drop the water back down to just barely. And then when I see that she's gray or silver, I give her another drink. But yeah, look at all that brown. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Come on, little wonder. I'll put her back over here and let's, I can't see what I'm doing one-handed and I don't want to break that root. That's all she's got going for her. There we go. Number six. Who? Where did she go? Number six. Here we are. Another case of barely any roots and they're shriveling. There's one that's taken in nourishment, so I haven't given up. Is that, could that possibly be? Nah, not, not a new leaf starting on her yet. And number seven coming in as the winner, winner chicken dinner for the worst phalaenopsis flop I have ever seen. Look at that. She could fly, wonk, wonk, but she got absolutely no roots. No roots. She was one of my online purchases from Hauserman. And um, she's just soaking in nutrient water today uh, with its fertilizers. But she hasn't given up. She is trying her best to grow a new leaf. And these are getting more withered as she tries to push that new leaf up. You can do it, little one. And number eight. We have almost success with number eight. She's got a little tiny, tiny start, I think, to a new leaf. And she is the one that drinks the most and has the most leaves. But look at that. Whoa! I never thought I'd be excited about two and a half roots. But she has gone very limp this week while she is growing that, those leaves and those roots. She's just gone very limp, so I'm just going to love on her. And number nine in my Nine Little Monkeys series is this secret smile from Hauserman's. It's been a secret ever since I got her. All the roots have fallen off. And she's just starting to crinkle. I cannot hydrate her. But I'm doing my part. <laughs> that little nub. I have trimmed it before when I was checking. There is no fusarium. She is a bright maroon flower. And her leaves have always been maroon tinted. Very pretty. They've always been very hard. And the original roots couldn't break through the leaves to emerge out of whatever hybrid this is she just could not push her leaves through the thickness of her couldn't push her roots through the thickness of the leaves I have always called them my Dorito chips but just this week the the lines have started the crinkling has started and she's progressed a little bit with that little center flower she's trying but like I say and you saw she has no roots whatsoever so those are my nine little monkeys i'll let you know in one month this is december 1st we'll see what happens in january 1st if we'll still have nine little monkeys or if we have any new roots thanks for joining me today i appreciate it and if you haven't subscribed yet, I would appreciate that too. It's absolutely free. You click that little red word that says subscribe and it will turn to gray. 
when you have subscribed. It helps grow my channel. And if you like this video and like to see more, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. It doesn't matter. It won't hurt my feelings. Have a happy December.